When thinking about a DCF versus relative valuation techniques, namely trading and transaction comps, there are some key considerations. First, the DCF is extremely sensitive to key assumptions like the cost of capital, also known as the WAC, the terminal value, and general growth and margin assumptions for the business. Additionally, being able to create a more comprehensive DCF model requires detailed company information, meaning that it is best to have access to management to help as you think through and build out your assumptions. And as is the case with model building in general, garbage in, garbage out. If the assumptions that you're making are not based on accurate data, the implied valuation will be rather meaningless. On the other hand, relative valuation reflects what the market thinks of a company or what previous buyers were willing to pay to acquire a company. So these values are generally viewed as more realistic. In an ideal world, market value and intrinsic value would yield the same results. 